Lot many military warfare techniques have been mentioned in India's ancient history. For example, you might have seen the movie Bahubali. And in the movie of in the movie Bahubali, you might have seen the chariot of a character called as Ballal Dev. That chariot is referred as Rath Musal. And the catapult that was used by Bahubali was referred as Mahashila Kantak. These were the inventions of Haryanka dynasty ruler Ajat Shatru. Coming to the medieval period. During the medieval period, it is said that Babar specifically, who you know, what we say, Babar was having a small force of 10 to 15,000. But still, he was successful in defeating the huge army of Ibrahim Lodi. The reason being the Tuluguma technique or the cannons used by Babar. Apart from this, he also deployed the Arba system. Now, what about Tipu Sultan? Who was Tipu Sultan? Was Tipu Sultan just known for development of silk industry? Or was he also known for development of missile technology or rocket technology? Hello everyone. Hi, this is Alok Oja. Welcome to Study IQ IS English. In today's short video, we are going to explore all these aspects. So stick in the video till the end. I guess you'll gain a lot. Sultan Fateh Ali Sahab. This was the name of Tipu Sultan. He is also called as or oftenly referred as Tiger of Mysore. So what's the story of Tipu Sultan? Let's go into a bit of background. Tipu Sultan or Sultan Fateh Ali. He was born to Haider Ali and Fatima Unnisa. Haider Ali, he was a commander in chief of the Hindu Vodiyar dynasty. In fact, he Haider Ali joined the Hindu Vodiyar dynasty as a normal soldier. But due to his daring, determination and intellect, he rose to the level of commander-in-chief of the army. Apart from this, Haider Ali was responsible for setting up arsenal at Dindigul approximately around 1755. On the other hand, his mother, Fatima Unnisa, she was a daughter of the governor of the fort of Kadappa. Tipu Sultan, he ascended a throne after the death of his father, Haider Ali, in 1782 due to cancer. And at that time, skirmishes were going on between English East India Company and Tipu Sultan. Because English East India Company was having an eye over the economically prosperous region of Mysore. And English East India Company had allied with Marathas and Nizam of Hyderabad. Third Anglo-Mysore War, it was nothing but a humiliating treaty for Tipu Sultan. The Third Anglo-Mysore War ended with Treaty of Seringapatam, which is like it is believed that Tipu had lost approximately 50% of his territories to English East India Company, Nizam of Hyderabad and Marathas. And apart from this, he had to pay a war indemnity of 3 crore rupees, out of which 1.5 crore rupees was paid immediately by Tipu Sultan. And at that time, Lord Cornwallis had kept one of his sons as hostages. It is believed that Tipu Sultan paid rest 1.5 crore rupees and got the release of his son. Tipu Sultan now wanted to take the revenge of this and he started forming global alliances. And in that case, he formed a global alliance with French East India Company, precisely with Napoleon. In fact, he supported the formation of Jacobian Club which is located in Seringapatam. Now, what was Jacobian Club? It was a French revolutionary organization whose objective was to overthrow the monarchical form of government in France and replace it with republican form of government. In fact, Napoleon was a part of Jacobian Club. Tipu Sultan himself became the part of Jacobian Club and referred himself as Citizen Tipu. He planted the Tree of Liberty at Seringapatam. Apart from this, Tipu, he was also responsible for development of silk industry in the region of Mysore. He was again responsible for bringing in reforms in the land revenue system. He introduced a new calendar referred as Mauludi. So it is specifically referred as Maulud e Muhammad to commemorate the birth of Prophet Muhammad. Apart from this, he introduced or he revamped the coinage system. But the very first thing that comes into mind, specifically concerning the rocket technology or mis uh, missile technology, the very, very first name that comes is Tipu Sultan. So what is the history of the rocket system? 
or what is the history of missile technology let's explore in further part of the video china it is said that the rocket system pioneered from the region of china and china was also like it is said that china is credited with invention of gunpowder for the first time the rockets that was made by china was usually made by using a cardboard and a bamboo stick but they lacked precision and accuracy in fact the basic purpose of the rockets developed by china at that time was to what we say create a lighting system during the night time in the battlefield and spook the enemy horses this system in the coming years were was adopted by many europeans arabs and apart from this muslim invaders of india precisely the moguls in the 18th century tipu sultan believed that this could be used as a probable tool in the warfare and now tipu sultan came up with a proper rocket system and these rockets are referred as mysorean rockets now a proper these mysorean rockets had a proper iron casing tipu sultan was the first to use iron cased missiles or iron cased rockets apart from this proper propulsion system apart from this a fin tail which will provide a stabilizing effect and accuracy and precision and it can carry a payload of specifically heavy swords it traverses the dis distance approximately of 1.5 to 2.5 kilometers and these rockets were referred as mysorean rockets in fact it is said that he had developed research and development centers across different places in the mysore sultanate for example chitradurg shimoga then shirangapatnam all these were the research and development centers developed by tipu sultan for development of rocketry system apart from this rockets were of different sizes some were designed for linear motion some were designed for serpentile motion once they hit the ground they can carry a payload with heavy swords on it apart from this as discussed many of the rockets traverse the path of approximately 1.5 to 2.5 kilometers and in fact this system was used by britain in uh, what we say anglo britain war approximately around 1812 and it is also believed that these rockets were referred as specifically congreve rockets and this technology also finds mention in the national anthem of america specifically it is referred as star spangled banner wings of fire the book by dr apj abdul kalam sahab ji the former president of india it is said that dr apj abdul kalam ji around 1960s he visited nasa and in one of the lobbies in nasa he observed a pic hanging on the wall and he observed that a missile system or a rocket system and there were many asian soldiers standing around these missiles or rockets this simply reminded him of tipu sultan so this was a short story on the pioneer of missile system or the rocket system in india tipu sultan hope you like the story my friends study iq is has come up with sip english batch it's a 2026 crash course precisely for prelims examination okay and here majorly the emphasis would be on prelims perspective history geography polity economy science and tech current affairs all the aspects of prelims would be covered in quite depth and detail and as a part of mission success sale precisely the sale would be ending on 7th of december so use the code alok live that is flashing on your screen to get the benefits of these batches and the prices are quite affordable in comparison to the hefty prices in delhi that is 5499 so my friends in the coming videos i would be coming up with a few new topics thank you